Hey, what's up my friend, it's Lewis, and I've been getting a question lately of, should I buy or lease moving trucks? So I figured, you know what, let me throw you in a recent Moving CEO business program live cast that we did where I train on new topics every single month and then I take questions from our members and I answer them right there live with them every month. So I recently answered this question, so I figured let me just throw you right in that session and let you hear for yourself whether you should buy or lease your next moving truck. Enjoy. Financing versus leasing trucks. What do you prefer and why? Great question. So there's no right or wrong answer. Let's just start with that. Um, it's totally a, a preference thing. Now, there is, uh, you know, you could do everything by the book of what's the right financial decision. But then there's also convenience, right? Like, I... When it, you know, on a, on a personal level, like I like to lease my vehicles because I want a brand new, you know, vehicle, and I want to give it back and get another brand new vehicle in a few years, and I don't want to take care of it. If anything's wrong, I bring it in, and they deal with it. Um, is that the smart financial play? No, the smart financial play on a personal level would be to buy a car that's a few years old with you know a few thousand miles on it, um, buy it after it's already taken the depreciation, and drive it until it doesn't, you know, uh, <laughs> until it breaks down, right? That's the smart financial decision. So from a uh, trucks standpoint, I always bought trucks, okay? And I bought them brand new, right? Which, uh, you know, technically when you buy, uh, you know, if you buy it used, you, you know, the, the, it depreciates right away as soon as it comes off the lot. But the problem is with moving trucks, they don't, you can't, it's, it's hard to find them like slightly used, right? They're usually uh, pretty, pretty worn out. So we would buy them new and finance them, make the payments on them for five years and then run them for another three years after with no payments and then sell them after that. And you know, that financially will be over the long term your better move from strictly financial, but you can't, you guys don't just take, you know, the best financial decision in, into account, right? Because when you own the truck, you also have to take care of that truck. So you have to think about, do I have a mechanic that I can rely on? Do I have a mechanic that I can trust? Do I know anything about trucks, right? I mean, you know, I had to learn the hard way when, you know, the diesel on one of my trucks froze up or gelled up, I should say. And I had to go prime the truck and, you know, let the little air valve out and spray it all in my face. Like I had to learn that stuff the hard way and I didn't want to deal with that. But I happened to have good mechanics everywhere that I went. Could I trust them? Eh. Were they padding the bill? Probably, right? Were they charging me for stuff that I really couldn't argue because I didn't know enough about the trucks? I'd say so. Now with leasing, what's nice about some of these leasing programs that some of the, you know, you know, the Penske's and the riders and these companies provide is that, you know, you get that new truck, you, um, you know, can wear and tear if it breaks down, they give you a new one and the whole truck payment is deductible, right? So when you, um, when you buy a truck, every payment that you make, Right? Only the interest and the taxes on that payment come off your P&L, right? and the rest is paying down your balance sheet. So at the end of the year, when you buy trucks, it can make your P&L look like you've got a lot of profit, but you don't have the money. Like In other words, you're like, oh, it looks like we're profitable, but yet like the bank account doesn't show that. Whereas with a lease, you've got every payment that you pay comes off your profit, right? So it reduces your tax exposure. Now, with the, um, I know I'm getting technical here, but I'm, I'm answering the question, right? This is the stuff you gotta think about. Um, with the truck that you buy, you do get to depreciate that, which helps reduce your, um, your tax exposure. That's all based on how you and your CPA choose to do it. So, you know, I, I would say that you know, today, if I was starting over, I would explore both options. I would talk to my CPA. I would, um, at the time of when it comes to buy a new truck, you know, 
look at where you're at and see wh what you need from a tax standpoint, uh, what your mechanic situation is, and then make the decision from there. So um, I like both ways. I'm not against either one. And that's kind of my, my scoop, right? My reason why. You said, what do you prefer and why? That's, that's the reason why. Uh, but we did buy trucks brand new. Um, and there are trucks that you can get a brand new body with a used chassis. Go to my website, uh, lewismassaro.com, search, uh, put trucks. Uh, it's like mover's guide to trucks, something like that. Just put trucks in the, uh, in the search bar. There's a blog post there with uh, my connections for uh, buying a new truck, buying a new box with a used chassis and some leasing information as well. I hope that helps you guys. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If so, pound that subscribe button. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments down below. That's where we get the inspiration for these videos. And I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if you wanna join us for our next live monthly training where I train and coach moving company owners to take their moving companies to the next level, then join us in our Moving CEO Business Program. This is the program where I go live every single month training moving company owners on new strategies in marketing, operations, finance, sales, everything they need to take their business to the next level. And I'd love to have you join us. It's called Moving CEO Business Program. And you could click on the link below or over here to get more information on that. Again, please subscribe to this channel. And if you know anyone that would find any inspiration or this would help them in their business, please share this with them. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. And until I see you next time, go out there every single day, profit in your business and thrive in your life.